Hi, my name is Raisa. I'm 16. I live in Queens, New York. And so, my daily life. So, I just go to school. Yeah, obviously I go to school. I like to wake up really early because my school is one hour away with the train. And I take the train one hour. It's not so bad. You know, read a book, whatever. And I go to school. I have a after school activities. Come home at like 6 o'clock. Sometimes I tutor people. Um, then after school, we'll probably do homework. I watch TV. Exercise, maybe. Then this is, goes on for five days. I do. I just. During the school year, my life is really revolved around academics, and that's really it. Summertime, I try to be, you know, have time for myself, do whatever I want, my hobbies and such. And yeah, that's basically my daily life. So, when you ask to talk about 9-11, and the thing is that when it happened, I was really young, and so, and also it didn't really directly affect me. None of my family members were affected, but I knew people who, who had family members. I mean, it was a terrible event that happened, and when I learned about it in school and such, I mean, I'm not a very, like, political person. Like, I don't know, like, the standpoint of, like, who, what, what happened, how did it happen. I'm not really, like, you know, active politically, obviously. So, I'm just, like, all I know is that it's, like, a sad thing that happened. It was tragic. And I think America could have done something to prevent it from happening. And... That's really it. Like I don't know what America is doing right now to prevent terrorism or whatever and such. But yeah, it was it was sad because so many people, so many innocent people, passed away. And you know they just they were living their lives. They didn't even expect it. And yeah, that's what I think. Did you did you visit the memorial, 9/11 memorial? No, I never visited it. But I did watch it on TV when 9/11 is coming soon. They always have like a uh, special TV thing where they show the things and they uh, list the names of the people who passed away. And yeah, I saw it. It's How many there? I'm not sure. Probably hundreds. Yeah. Three thousand. Three thousand. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought maybe like one thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's terrible. Do you have anything written in your school textbook on this 9/11? Oh well, see the thing is, my textbook doesn't really focus on current events. It okay. usually stops around like 1995-ish, but sometimes they have like maybe a tiny bit mm -hmm. on it, and all they would say is like 2001 terrorist attack and New York City Twin Towers, and that's it basically, and about Osama bin Laden and Al Qaeda forming, and when when I learned about the Middle East and how terrorism became to be was like fundamentalism and how fundamentalism is reading the holy book word for word literally and twisting the interpretations to in such a way that it's trying to say that oh you have to kill people and sacrifice yourself which is obviously not how it is and another way that I was kind of affected by terrorism is that people now make really racist jokes Sometimes it's just a joke, it's like not, you know, but sometimes it's really not just, it's serious, you know, it's not just joking around. And it's like, they shouldn't be blaming the whole Muslim community on just a couple of crazy, you know, people. Like, they're not, they're not Muslim. We don't, we hate them just as much as any other person for doing what they did. Mm -hmm. So that's not fair that people think that we're on their side. Mm -hmm. Obviously we're not. No. We just, we we don't like them as just as much as, you know, any other random person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't, I'm glad that it didn't turn out to be how it was back when um, Pearl Harbor was destroyed. You know how they, um, was they were really racist against Japanese people in America. I'm glad that it's not like that now, but still it should be toned down. And people should understand mm -hmm. that they shouldn't, blame everyone like we're not to blame at all and we're a peaceful religion when we're the opposite of what terrorism you know mm -hmm. promotes whatever. right mm -hmm. okay uh, are you happy in America and uh, living in, uh, in New York 
know, it's satisfactory, I guess. I like it. It's a normal life, you know. I wouldn't know, because I haven't lived another kind of life anywhere else, so I wouldn't know if my life is good or bad. I mean... But are you happy with it? Yeah, I guess. No complaint? I obviously have lots of complaints, but... It's About what? I like... I don't know, I just... Well... Mainly about what? Mainly about living here? Did they complain about what? I don't know, just like, it's it's a lot of work, you know? Mm -hmm. Stressful? Except, yeah, but for, I don't know, I'm just a high school student. So right. But for me, it's stressful because I'm, like, aiming for a lot. Like, I'm trying to go to a really prestigious college, so I work really hard. Mm -hmm. So, that's why it's stressful for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know, for other people, it might be a good life. But, you know, it's different for everyone. Alright, so you are in grade 10 now? 11. 11 mm -hmm. grade. You have your French there in your school? Yeah. Uh, can you say a few things in French? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Any, anything you, or you, it comes across? Bonjour, je m'appelle Raisa. Je, I forgot to say 16. On, see, my French teacher is not good. That's okay. She, she is terrible. Oh my god. Okay. But I like learning the language. It's a really nice language. Okay, all right. Thanks, Raisa. Nice You're talking welcome. to you. Thank you. Bye.